House of Love, Broken Saints Part 1, Link Roll. Take one. It's about 12 hours long, so we won't be going into detail. <laughs> Let us indulge yourselves. A huge thing. Yeah. I've got a confession to make. I'm not good off the cuff. I usually record these things early in the morning, so my memory is at its fuzziest. Today, I'll be working off of notes. And it's not a script, it's not a script, it's notes. I just not getting that smart. It's no good. Here's why I do so much out of vision. And another part of this is that when this was made, around about 2001-ish, Islam, the whole Muslim thing, was viewed with suspicion and fear. You know, the whole 9-11 business. Terrible business, that. And that's about it. Join me next week as we continue this tale. Take one. Greetings! <sighs> Friends, well-wishers, and transmedia cowboys. Achieved the original web series on a shoestring budget. Shoestring budget. We will do that again. <laughs> Music was provided by Burgess. Uh, Music was provided by Burgess's cousin, uh, Tobias Tinker. Yes, we're doing that one again. The show's music was provided by Burgess's cousin, Tobias Tinker. What the hell is wrong? Why am I not getting that line? Starting out, these three cowboys in a whole new world with a congested. Right, dear. Ah, uh, ninja. Them's was the days. Oh god, I never changed into my jeans. Oh well. Ah, the ending. At last. You didn't see this. Except that you did see this. But we're not going to put it in the, the video. Keep this one for a blooper reel. Yeah, but any potential blooper reel is just going to be me going, Ugh, and saying, get it right, dear, a lot. And we're recording. At least I hope we are. Well, anyway, if we're not, I'll do it all over again. Well, there's one way to check, isn't there? And if we are recording, then this is all on tape. Oh, we are recording. Oh dear. I'll do it, me waistcoat. You never do it the last button. Take one. The opening's important, folks. She's taken so much more than she Wrong. The truth is, folks, I really had no interest in Labyrinth, but the nostalgia chick did, and I'd never really seen it fully through. So, I decided to take a look. So, grab your compass and follow the walls, because we're going to navigate the Labyrinth wrong. <laughs> oh, you poor people. Right, the voiceover line, thank god. Here's the thing, I never read what Sarah actually having to learn, Sarah actually learn from all this. Anyway, enough of this. Denouement! Denouement. I mean, it's not the way I do things. And that is that. Wrong quarter main. Take one. Greetings to one and all. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Oh, the things we have seen in our... Oh, how embarrassing. Hello? Yes, this is Funky Monkey. Interestingly enough, sir, today I'm reviewing your movie, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> One take. I'm on fire. Come on. Yay. God, I've just realised. I haven't got me light on me. Link roll. Take. Two. See that. Yes, Quartermain, not Sawyer. Sawyer just figured out that they needed the car. Next, next, next. <laughs> Nemo's personal exploration pod. There were them deadly blades. Deadly blades. Deadly blades. Do I really have no more there in between? 
So now we have our three sub subplots. Subplots. So now we have our three subplots. Let's resolve them. Yes, definitely. <laughs> the Star Wars line. And I'd like to remind you that while the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen may not actually be real, the Heroic League of Positive Reviewers is very much so. Sound off! You know what if no You know I never actually figured out what it is that we do. Oh, I think we're better off discussing this off camera. Off camera. Off camera. Off camera. Now Mr. Viking Girl, what do you think they've got under those uh, under those thing? Better keep that on. That's sorted. Sean Connery impersonation. Get him in your head. 